I was having a really fantastic day in Iraq. I was a battle captain and assistant operations officer. Twice a week, I got to go outside the wire, and twice a week, I got to fly missions. And I lived for those two days a week when I could be doing the thing that I loved the most, which is flying. Dan Milberg, the, the pilot in command of the aircraft, was somebody who's a Desert Storm veteran. And so we flew an entire day's mission. And we were headed back home, and we got a call to detour go and pick up some passengers. Instead of the multiple passengers, there was just one there. We picked him up, um, and we were headed back. And just, you know, flying about 10 feet above the trees, standard mission profile, maybe 15 minutes back from home base, and we got hit by a rocket propelled grenade. The blast from the RPG going off um, uh, vaporized my right leg. And uh, the, the force of the blast kicked my left leg up into the instrument panel of the aircraft and amputated it. Um, and it blew off the entire back of my right arm. The cockpit is filling with black smoke. I'm under the impression that I'm the only one that's still awake and alive and not severely wounded because I could still feel my feet, I could still feel my arm. So I just tried to land the aircraft. And the last thing I remember, I was fighting to fly it, I was fighting to fly it. Um, the tail was not responding to my, my pedal inputs. I didn't realize I didn't have feet. And then I passed out. It turns out Dan was scorched, but he was okay. And he landed the aircraft and got everybody to safety, and then he came back. He was sure that I was dead, but he made a conscious decision that he would come back and, and get me because he didn't want to leave my body behind. So he and Matt Backus from the second aircraft came forward and just pulled me out, dragged me, dropped me, picked me up, um, uh, and, and fought to get me to the rescue bird. And um, I never got a tourniquet. I never got any first aid because they assumed that I was dead. Um, and uh, at this point, Chris Fierce, Sergeant Fierce, who was my crew chief sitting behind me, um, uh, almost lost his leg. But thank God they were able to go through limb salvage and save it. He, with a tourniquet on, the pain that he was in, in that flight from the shoot down to where we got to the medevac bird that picked us up, had the presence of mind to view the surface, the deck of the aircraft, and realize it was getting wetter and wetter. And when he looked, it was blood. And despite everything he was going through, realized, oh my God, her heart's still beating. She wouldn't be bleeding if she wasn't still alive. And so when the medic came to pull us over, they looked at him first because he'd been reported as the most severely wounded. I was reported as likely KIA. Um, and he said, no, you look at her first. You look at her first. And that saved my life. Mm -hmm.